Hi, my name is Daniel Frick and I'm originally from Liechtenstein. And since October 2014, I'm a postdoc at the German Research Center for Geosciences in Potsdam, Germany. I'm working as an experienced researcher in the Marie Curie Initial Training Network, ISONOS. Our network consists of 12 PhD students and two postdocs spanning across Europe. We're using stable metal isotopes as novel sensors to trace Earth's surfaces, resources and processes and hence the name ISO knows originated. For my project I want to study weathering processes on a micrometer scale. I'm focusing on the development and establishment of new analytical routines to characterize the material that fractionate metal isotopes and metalloids, for example magnesium, silicon and iron and which are often unknown in natural samples. All the developments which I'm doing during my postdoc stay at GFZ are made in the Helmholtz laboratory for the geochemistry of the Earth's surface, which is ideal for me. It has a top infrastructure combined with great colleagues to discuss my ongoing work. I'm applying a technique called laser ablation inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometry, where a laser is coupled with an ICPMS instrument. The innovation of my project is the combination of several instruments to obtain the chemical composition and isotopic ratio simultaneously and high, with a high spatial resolution from natural samples such as rocks and core stones. In laser ablation, a ultra short pulsed high energy laser beam is hitting the sample surface and thus removing a small portion of my sample. For my analysis, I typically need 100 by 100 micrometer large sample and a, uh, around a few hundred nanometers of depth. Those particles are then transported into the inductively coupled uh, plasma mass spectrometry where the particles are vaporized, atomized and finally ionized. The formed ions can then be analyzed either on a multi-collector instrument to obtain precise isotope ratios or on a quadrupole instrument to determine the chemical composition of my sample. The high spatial and simultaneous approach which I'm developing here to study the isotopic fractionation of metal and metalloids can also be used by the other fellows from the Eisenhower's network to study processes, for example, how soil are formed from rocks, how to, how to quantify the human influence on metal cycling and also to advance the metal ore exploration techniques currently applied.